hello and welcome to my new video in this video I'm gonna discuss about forward contract and synthetic forward contract let's discuss about first what is a forward according to the definition in finance a forward or simply a forward contract is a non standardized contract between two parties to buy or sell an asset at a specified future time at a price agreed upon today let me give an uh, explanation by drawing a timeline let's say we make an agreement at time t equals to zero to buy a stock at six months time for hundred dollar so that's the forward price we are agreeing to buy the stock at six months time at time t equals to t i mean capital t six months time we exchange the stock and the payment and payment is actually made so that's the forward contract we pay nothing at the beginning of the term and at the end of the term we exchange the stock and we may pay, make the payment now let's discuss what is a synthetic forward so the purchase of a call and sale of a put or equivalently the purchase of a put and sale of a call with the same strike price and same durations create synthetic forwards there are two types of forward con uh, synthetic forwards the first one is synthetic long forward contract and the second one synthetic short forward contract. So what is the difference between a forward contract and a synthetic forward contract? The forward contract does not require an initial premium whereas a synthetic forward does require an initial premium. In, my, in our previous slides we have seen that we are making just an agreement that we will buy or sell the stock at the specified future time but we are not making any payment at time t equals to zero but for a synthetic forward contract we are making this synthetic forward contract by buying or selling options so in order to buy or sell an option option we must uh, pay the premium or receive the premium so uh, synthetic uh, forward contract requires initial premium and the second difference at the end of the term we pay the forward price for a forward contract whereas for the synthetic forward we just pay the strike price so let's discuss synthetic long forward contract how can we construct a synthetic long forward first buy a call option with a strike price k and maturity t that means uh, we will exercise this option if the stock price at the maturity is greater than the strike price and at the same time sell a put option of a strike price same and maturity is also same in this case we are selling the put option that means we are selling the right that the buyer of this option will exercise this put option if the stock price at the maturity is less than the strike price that means we will oblige to buy the stock at, uh, at time at uh, maturity at the strike price if the stock price goes down to the strike price let me give you an example let's say at time t equals to 0 s naught equals to 95 dollar and the price at the maturity it could go up or go down so let's consider it goes up and the price is 110 dollar so if the stock price goes up then we will exercise the call option so in this case, we'll buy the st uh, stock at the at our promised price. That means if the stock pri if the strike price is hundred dollar, then we will make a ten dollar profit because we are buying the stock at hundred dollar, which is actually priced at hundred ten dollar. Now, the counterparty, I mean, uh, the seller of the call option will make a loss of ten dollar. However, if the price goes down will not exercise our call option in this case we will exercise the put option actually the seller the buyer of the put option will exercise this put option will not exercise they will exercise in this case if the price goes down so let's say the stock price is ninety dollar so the payoff is defined as the stock price uh, st strike price minus uh, stock price so hundred negative ten in this case it's a ten dollar profit for the buyer of the put option because we sold the right and 
he has the right to sell the stock at hundred dollar which is actually priced ninety dollar so in this case we are making a loss of ten dollar so either way we are just buying this by buying the stock at maturity so when the price goes up we make a profit and when pri price goes down we just make loss so that's the graph for synthetic forward contract let me show you how can we we generate the data and corresponding graph for synthetic long forward I'll use Excel for this demonstration I've done it previously let me do it again so how can we construct a long forward we just buy a call option and sell a put option let, let us consider um, the strike price we defined today is 100, uh, 150 and duration T equals to 6 months uh, and interest rates during this two, uh, 6 months period is 2% let's say it's 2% ok now since we are buying a call option so the payoff is defined from for buying a call option is maximum of stock price negative the strike price this is our strike price or zero so maximum of the difference of the strike uh, stock price minus strike price or zero so this is the payoff from the call option initially we bought this call option that means we spent some amount of money and we paid the premium that's how we bought it so if we didn't buy this call option we could have invest that amount in a risk-free investment and that investment would accumulate it to a certain value let's find that accumulated value since we paid this amount I just put negative here because that amount of money went out from our pocket so see over six months period it's multiplied by 1.02 so that's the amount that's the cost for this call option so what is the profit here the profit is just the pay up negative the cost so that's the profit for call option now let's come to the put option we sold the put option that's so that that means initially we received some premium however uh, let's consider uh, let's calculate the payoff for the put so we sold the payoff uh, put option that means initially it's negative and the payoff for the selling a put option is defined as maximum of strike price negative negative the stock price or zero since we sold this that's why it's a negative sign here let's go calculate so what is the cost associated for selling the put option in this case we received the premium so we will use the plus sign this is our received premium and if we invest this in the risk-free investment we will get 103 at the end of the term so that's the cost so what is the profit for selling a put option well this is the add of this two column that's the profit so what is the total payoff this is the payoff from the call uh, uh, this is the call plus payoff from the put that's the total payoff and to calculate the total cost we'll just add the individual cost for two different options that's the cost so we got our total payoff total cost now let's calculate total profit or net profit that's the difference of payoff and the total cost Now let's scale. Uh, now let's uh, use these three columns, three columns to scale the graph. Okay, let's insert and the first one. That's the graph. That's the, that's the graph for synthetic long forward. Here we can see the horizontal line. The data is one, two, three, four. That's it. So if we want to change this one, just click on the uh, click on the graph, right click and select data, and click edit, 
select the stock prices and for the series one edit this name it as profit of the call and series two edit this name it profit of the put and the third one this is the profit from net profit or total profit or combined profit that's the graph now let's go back to the slide again how we can construct synthetic short forward contract well this is just completely the opposite of the long synthetic forward contract in this case we buy a put option with the strike price k and maturity t that is we will exercise this option if the st is less than k and sell a call option of strike price k and maturity t that is the buyer of this call option will exercise this option if st is greater than k this is just opposite of our previous strategy so in either case, we are just selling the stock. It doesn't matter whether it, it goes up or it goes down. Let me go uh, give you an example. The same example we did again at S0 equals to 95, the initial price, just beginning of the six month period. And if ST goes up, let's say ST is uh, 110. So in this case, the payoff from the call option, it's uh, with the, uh, the buyer of the call option will exercise this option so negative ten dollar for us because we're selling it at hundred dollar and which is actually price is hundred ten dollar because when we sold the call option we sold the right that the other party will sell the stock and uh, we will buy the stock and we'll sell it so ten dollar profit for the buyer of the call now if the price goes down let's say ST is ninety dollar the payoff is defined the same the same way K negative ST and in this case we will exercise the put option because we buy we bought it so we have the right that means if the strike price goes below to the strike price we have the right to sell it at the strike price so in this case we are making a profit of ten dollar because we are selling at ten dollar which is actually prices at ninety dollar and the other party the seller of the put is making a loss of ten dollar so this is just the opposite of the long synthetic forward and you can see as you can see the graph is totally just reversed it's flipped over y axis so if you want to uh, show this in excel we can do that so i've already created this let me sh uh, do it again over copy create uh, move to the end create a copy okay so we are here in this case since we are, uh, we are creating short synthetic forward so in this case we are selling the call selling the call and buying the put option so here since it's, it's the call option and we're selling it will be same just a negative sign here and uh, since we sold the call option that means we received the premium therefore this will be positive so that's the cost for from selling the call option and this is the profit now let's correct this one here we bought the put option therefore its payoff will be positive and there it is and for the cost since we bought this, we paid the money. That is why it's negative. That's the graph. It's just the same. It's just the same as pre as as the as the long for, for a synthetic forward, and it's just the opposite. 
as you can see so that's the synthetic forward it's long and short thank you for watching